Hey guys, welcome back and continuing with our Linux shell scripting course. Uh, in this video, I'm going to cover some string operations and command substitution. So two topics I'm going to cover. And string substitution is very important. You would see it is uh, used in very great uh, amount when uh, you are doing shell scripting, right? So you'll be using it a lot. So I hope you pay attention to this. All right. so. So to start with, so I'm uh, I'm not actually going to do any shell scripting. I'll just be using terminal to show that, and then we'll probably write a small shell script at the end of the video, right? Okay. So I'll just define a variable first, and I'll define it with my name, right? So I'll set it to my name, and in this uh, uh, string operations, what we are going to do is we are going to see a new way of. Uh, uh, what you call calling variables and which is basically curly braces like using curly so if you remember in earlier video we have been calling it like echo dollar name and it echoes the name but in this video we are going to use the curly brace notation which is very uh, useful uh, in doing a lot of operations right so the first operation is we are going to see so let me just set start the curly braces and we are going to echo dollar name and if this is not defined, right, I want to say echo John, right? I hope you understand this. So if dollar name is not defined, if there is no value set to dollar name, uh, then you just echo John, right? But since dollar name is already defined with my name Tarek, that's why you don't get to see John. But if I change it to say NAM, dollar NAM, which is not defined, and then do it can see uh, we got John so that's a very good way of string substitution right uh, moving on I'll use the same name operation and instead of uh, say echoing dollar John say I want to see if dollar nam is defined and if it is not defined I want to set it to some some value say I want to set it to uh, what you call hello right so just say so you just do colon equal to and you set the value which you want this variable to have in case this is not defined right so if I set it so you can see it returned me hello but if I do echo dollar nam now you can see it has been set to uh, hello right so that's the second operation <coughs> uh, the third operation let me clear the screen and the third operation would be, uh, which is very useful, is uh, displaying an error message in case the variable is not defined, right? So instead of nam, since nam we have already defined, I would just make it x, right? And I'll get rid of this hello. And after colon, you need to put a question mark. And then you define your uh, error message. So in this case, I would just say invalid variable right so let's first test it uh, with something which is defined so say let's test it with name because name is already defined so we should not see any error and we should see what name is but if i get rid of name and say something like x which is not defined so we get uh, the error uh, on the screen right x invalid variable uh, all right moving on the last operation which is very important is uh, substring uh, basically extracting substring from a string right so for that i am going to define str and i would say i am a devops engineer right i would set this and uh, now suppose i just want this devops to be displayed so how we can do that so again we are going to use the curly brace notation so dollar open curly brace close curly brace and inside this i would put str and then colon and the first argument which you need to give is uh, the offset right so from which offset you want this so we want it so the offset starts from zero so zero one two three four five six and seven so we want the this string to start from the seventh offset and then you need to define the length uh, for I mean, how long do you want uh, the string to display so length is 
one, two, three, four, five, six. So we need six characters, right? So another colon, and then we give it six. And if we put enter, we get DevOps, right? So this uh, is actually very helpful in extracting uh, substring from a string, right? So this is a very important operation. All right, so now let's write a small shell script, basically. Uh, so suppose uh, I actually have a file over here, marks.txt, right? And this uh, basically has name of students uh, and followed by, uh, basically not followed. So first we have actually the marks of the students and then we have the name of the student. And we are going to write a script that is going to display, say, so it will actually take the positional parameter as input from the user and say, suppose we want first three top students, right? So top uh, students and we need to give how many do we want, right? So suppose we want top five students, right? Or we want top six students. So that's uh, what the script is actually going to do. And in case uh, we are not giving it any parameters, say uh, like how many number we want, the default we want is five, right? So this string is actually going to take two parameters, uh, the name of the file and how many students do we want to uh, display, right? So let's say we want uh, what we call this script. <coughs> Toppers.sh is fine, right? Then we are going to define our shebang and the first thing what I'm going to do is say file name and I would set it to dollar one which is our first positional parameter and how many students we want is going to be dollar or no we're not going to define how many uh, let's see in fact before writing the script the good thing is actually to see how we can do it on the the terminal right so let me just exit out of this and to do this I can use sort command and hyphen n is numerical sort and we want to reverse it because we want uh, from topper to basically descending order right and then we need to give it the name of the file and head command is basically to obtain and we say we want top five so this is going to give us top five result right so this is working so this is the command which we are actually going to use in our script so now let's go back to toppers.sh and file name we have set and let's set how how many would be equal to so here we are going to let's use our dollar notation right and in this we would say two or else set it to say uh, say five right so this is basically going to be our default value so in case uh, if two is not defined, just set it to five. All right, then, then we are going to just paste our in paste our command, and we'll going we are going to replace marks.txt with dollar file name and head with dollar how many and I think this should be good enough let's test it out and let's first give it plus six let me clear the screen and let's run toppers.sh and the file name was marks.txt and say I want first three toppers and it is working right and if I don't give it three you get five toppers by default and if I give it say seven it is giving me seven so this script is working right so that's how we basically use our string substitution all right so last thing which I quickly want to cover is command substitution right 
and for that I'm going to use uh, a very basic example of say cat etc uh, pass wd right and I'll just pipe it to cut hyphen d uh, colon and hyphen f see what we get so we get the third field no we want something better what we yeah first field is right so basically in command substitution is uh, you need in case you need to store the output of some command in a variable how do you do that so suppose I want to store the output of this command in a variable say username right so what how I can do command substitution is I start with dollar then I open the regular braces, right? And then I just put the command cat etc pass wd and then pipe it to cut hyphen d colon and hyphen f1, right? So if I run this command, you see I don't get any output, but if I echo dollar username you can see I get all the names basically separated by the internal field separate right and you can loop through these uh, variables so we have not covered the loop yet but we'll cover it in the upcoming videos so we'll see how you can basically loop through uh, a variable right so that's pretty much it for this video I hope you guys like this video please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching